much sugar can we consume in one day? Oh, the risk is that we consume too much sugar. But if we are talking about uh, uh, the white sugar that we everybody knows, I suggest you to use no more than two spoons, uh, teaspoons of sugar per day. We will start uh, the day drinking uh, one coffee. Drinking one coffee. So we can use our two spoons of, coffee, uh, of sugar for our coffee or a little milk maybe. Another idea is to use, uh, for example, stevia is a natural sweetener and uh, it uh, does not contain any carbs. First of all, you should start to read uh, the labels of the products. Sugar is eaten everywhere. For example, salami with sugar. <laughs> it seems strange, but it is everywhere. If there are some ingredients uh, finishing in O's, that means that is sugar. Glucose, fructose, everything is O's. That means sugar. Which kind of bread do we have to ah, eat? So they could put some sugar in the bread and it is one of the, the, uh, the, the product uh, would be not supposed to contain it. The more fibers it contains uh, the, uh, and, and uh, more slowly uh, the sugar, the carbs in this case, uh, pass from our stomach to our blood. If you eat white bread, this action, this work to separate fibers from the carbs has already been done in, in the meals, okay? <laughs> already been done. So when you eat this, it goes directly from your stomach to your blood. So your glycemia uh, have a spike, has a spike, and uh, uh, the body has not the time to consume it so quickly, and it is transferred in fats. Our body start to, uh, to promote a resistance to the insulin. And then uh, you can have problems like uh, endometriosis for women uh, and uh, diabetes too, and uh, uh, many other problems coming from the sex uh, of carbs uh, and uh, high glycemic index carbs, most of all. So prefer to use carbs with fibers. So let's choose. We have some yogurt here, for example. This is a natural yogurt with all the fats inside. And this is a yogurt is milked, so without fats and with some fruits inside. But there is also some sugar, so prefer always a yogurt, natural yogurt with the fats inside. And another trick I give you for fruit. This is a good idea. This is uh, uh, some uh, juice. Uh, this is an, an orange. Uh, natural, and this is the, the juice of, of uh, orange. You should eat the orange how it is done. You peel it and you eat it, but because you eat uh, the, the juice and the sugar, the, the fructose, but with the fibers, three portions uh, per day if you don't have to lose weight. Two portions of fruit per day if you have to lose weight. Here we have uh, some dry fruit, so you concentrate the carbs in this case. In this case, uh, it is fresh fruit, so there are less carbs here. You have to remember that fruit is healthy, but uh, the uh, fruit, uh, are, uh, fruit is uh, the candy of the nature. So it contains sugar. What about the cereals? The cereals? A lot of people are eating cereals in the morning. That's a good idea, but check uh, if they, they are all grain cereals better because they contain uh, fibers. But pay attention, read uh, the um, labels. When there is a written without added sugar, doesn't mean that it doesn't contain sugar. Normally means that there is a, um, a, a high concentration of fructose. This is not a good idea. Glucose can be digested by each cell of your body. Fructose only by your liver. If you want to cheat, I can give you three rules. First, of, first rule, cheat with high quality products. Try to prepare you, your cake, uh, or go to a pastry that is very good. Quality food. Second, remember that you have to eat always the real food your vegetables, your meat, uh, uh, fish, uh, if, uh, if you're not vegan, of course. Uh, the real food must be always, always eaten. Uh, the third rule is uh, try to avoid to eat uh, carbs 
for the two meals after the one you have eaten too much. So, for uh, you, are, you have eaten too much tonight, breakfast without carbs, and, uh, and uh, lunch without carbs. For dinners, you can eat normally. This is a little trick. For